today we're going to be taking a look at the LB4705 and the LB4702 Lavazza Blue Capsule Machine. Now there's a couple of very obvious differences between the two, most notably is the 4705 only has a single brewing group, therefore a slightly smaller boiler, and the 4702 has the additional manual steamer on the right hand side. But apart from that, the features of both machines are absolutely identical, so for the purposes of this training film, we're going to be taking a look at the LB4702. Now of course the main advantage of using the Lavazza capsule system is that every espresso, both single and double, come in pre-dosed, pre-ground, pre-tamped portions, which means they maintain optimum freshness as well as ensuring optimum consistency as well. So to make a single espresso, simply remove the single porter filter, place the single capsule inside. Now when you insert the porter filter, do watch out as the spikes that pierce the capsule hang slightly lower on the group head. So what we don't want to do is damage them by clattering the handle in as we insert. So as you bring the handle in, press up first to pierce the capsule and then squeeze round to the right. Cup underneath and single espresso button pressed. Now to make a double espresso, simply remove the double porter filter, insert the double capsule, and then just as before, watch out we don't damage the spikes when we insert the porter filter by pressing up to pierce and then round to the right. And obviously pressing the double espresso button. Perfect. So now we've seen just how simple it is to make an espresso on this machine, let's start building it into some classic recipes. Let's look at the classic Americano. Take your cup and we're going to pre-fill this with water first, of course, by pressing the central hot water button. Now obviously you remember you want to leave enough room to add your espresso and potentially for the customer to add milk as well. So on a cup this size, it's about a half to two thirds. Remove the double handle. We would always recommend dropping a double espresso onto an Americano. Remember again, not to damage the spikes by piercing first and then twisting round, pressing the double espresso button. Now the reason we put the water in first is because we want the, the crema, the flavour, all the aroma of that lovely espresso sat on top of the water. It's much more attractive to look at, but it gives a, a greater aroma and a greater sensation for the customer as well. So it's just a best practice. And there we go, one classic black Americano. Of course, here in the UK, we like nothing more and a classic Italian cappuccino. So with the LB4702's automatic milk steamer, this process couldn't be simpler and it couldn't be easier to get that authentic Italian experience. So let's see how we do this. Start by filling your clean milk pitcher about a third with fresh cold milk. And remember before we steam any kind of milk, it's important to purge the steamer to get rid of any water built up in the steam pipe. So take your designated milk cloth, cover and purge. Now I'm purging using the cappuccino button here or you can also use the, uh, the latte button. Careful obviously as the metal parts are now hot and place the steam arm directly straight down, about vertically down inside the milk uh, and press your cappuccino button. Now this automatic steamer works by adding air via a compressor inside the machine into the, uh, into the milk, which obviously creates the foam. This 
arm on the left hand side here, this is your temperature probe. So this will cut the milk out at the desired temperature. So while that's on its way, we obviously need to prepare our espresso. Now, as we're using a small Italian six ounce cup, we're gonna use a single espresso. Now our milk is finished, so we're gonna remove it. Let it set, and we're gonna make sure we clean off that milk straight away. Now, this is quite important because there is a temperature probe and the steam arm in close proximity, it's very easy to get a buildup of milk in between. So it's really important to be extra careful and extra diligent when cleaning this to avoid that buildup. If it does get a buildup, it can interfere with the function of the temperature probe, which means your milk might not cut out at the right temperature. And as always, when steaming milk, always remember to purge the steam arm at the end of the cycle just to dislodge any milk that might have built up in there. Tap the jug to release any bubbles and then gently spin to create that nice white shiny gloss on the foam. And then pour a nice thick stream down the side of the cup. Create your perfect cappuccino. Now, of course, the 4702 also has the manual steamer on the right-hand side. Now, there are some advantages to using this. The noticeable one, of course, is its power. It's a lot more powerful, therefore it will foam and texture your milk just that little bit faster. Of course, it is a little bit trickier and there is a definite knack to steaming good quality dense microfoam. So let's take a quick look at that and how we can achieve that on the manual steamer. Just like before, we're going to fill the milk pitcher about one third full of cold milk. As always, purging your steamer to clear any water. Now, this time we want the angle of the steamer at about 30 degrees. We want to have the milk jug flat and level, and we want to insert the steamer diagonally into the milk just off the center in order to create that lovely spin, that lovely circle around inside the jug. So we're going to insert it about an inch or so under the surface, turn the steamer on, and then once the steamer is on, we're going to lower the jug down the spout, hearing that gentle hissing, adding little bits of air, gradually at a time until the milk level rises to about double its original volume. We're then going to lift the jug up and continue just to heat the milk as it spins. This is texturing the milk, blending it together until the side of the jug feels slightly uncomfortable to the touch. Take your hand away, count quickly to three and turn the steamer off straight away. Of course, you could use a milk thermometer for this as well. We're to take your cloth, wipe the excess milk from the steamer, clear and purge after as well. Okay, so we've had a look at the cappuccino, now we're gonna take a look at the latte on the auto steam side of things. As before, Fill your pitcher one third with fresh cold milk. Clear your steamer. Now this time we obviously don't want to add anywhere near as much air as we do for the cappuccino, but we still want to add some. So placing your jug in the same position as before, we're going to start off by pressing the cappuccino button to add some air. And when your milk has risen by about half a centimetre or so, or to the desired consistency for your latte,
Now, when enough air has been added into your latte milk, about half a centimetre or to your desired consistency, we're going to switch off the cappuccino and move to latte. Now, this will continue to heat the milk and cut off automatically when it's ready. As with the cappuccino, I'm going to use a small six ounce cup for my latte, so I'm going to use a single espresso. Removing the jug as before, obviously being extra careful when cleaning in between these two pipes. Tap the jug to release any air and then gently spin to achieve a tight, shiny, glossy consistency. As before, you may find it quicker to use the manual steamer for your lattes, and if so, you might need to adopt a slightly different technique to that of the cappuccino. But, as before, fill the milk pitcher up to one third with fresh cold milk, as always. Remember to purge your steamer first. Exactly the same starting position as your cappuccino, so make sure the jug is level. The steamer is going into the milk at an angle and just off the centre. We're going to turn the steamer on, lower the pitcher to hear that gentle hissing sound to add a little bit of air, no more than two or three hisses, that'll be plenty for a latte. And then we're going to lift the jug up and just continue to spin to texturise that milk and foam and to heat. So I've got all the air that I want for my latte now, so I'm just going to lift the jug up slightly to make sure no air goes in and just continue to heat. Slightly hot to the touch, remember, lift off, one, two, three, and turn off your steamer. Tap to release any bubbles if necessary. 